Hey guys, Nick O'Neill here at the World Kite Museum in Long Beach, Washington, and I am standing in what is affectionately called the War Room. There are a lot of kites in here that have various historical significance, and they are all centered around government usage of kites, whether it's delivering or signaling that mail was ready, or uh, a barrage kite that is used to help protect ships at sea during the world wars uh, that had piano wire attached to it so it could knock down attacking planes of merchant ships or even kites that were used for meteorological observations like here we have this fine photo and those observations were recorded and published and it is these observations that help lead us to a better understanding how weather patterns and weather systems work. Pretty amazing, I think so. However, behind me, I have two of the most unique kites here in the collection in the war room, and that is the Gibson Girl kite and the Target kite. So first off, let me talk about the Gibson Girl kite. This kite was specifically designed for pilots if they went down at sea. And in their life raft, they would have this Gibson Girl kite. It's a standard box kite, and it gets its name from the shape of the radio that goes along with it. There it was a long, thin wire that was attached to the kite that would go to the radio. And essentially, when you would fly the kite, you have now created a large antenna with your hand crank radio that you could send out SOS messages and hopefully get rescued. This kite back here is the target kite, and you can almost see it has two lines up here, and that's because this is a steerable kite. There would be a person standing on the back of the ship with this kite, and they're flying it, and using this contraption down here, they would actually steer the kite. So the kite is moving through the air like this, and the object was that as that kite dipped and soared a lot like fighter pilots would do, the tail gunners or the various gunners on the ship would attempt to shoot it down. And so this kite is actually designed to be destroyed. So there are not a lot of them left, but here we have a handful of them. So uh, next time you're here at the World Kite Museum, make sure you stop in on by and check out the war room. Check out all of the kites that are in the collection and uh, I hope you have fun. All right, till next time. Bye.